So this one, if you want the Punisher theatrical and extended cut. So the extended cut has like several different kills, but yeah, they really more different, more kills that you have to really be paying attention to the film and watch each of them back and forth versions. And, but the only way they stick out enough to, mm, to feel unique, at least to me, I buy it like personally. And, well, to me, I, I can see the difference. Uh, sort of. Personally, I like the unrated version more. It's, it, I just enjoyed it more. Okay. Um, and also, the unrated version um, has um, this opening of giving more backstory to Frank Castle as a machine, uh, actual living, breathing, mach killing machine. So, it's not like he just snaps and instantly becomes a killing machine. No, because he's already like this. He is a retired killing machine. But he comes out every time to be, what he does is, to do what he does best is hunting after his family's killed and supposedly he's killed, but he's somehow survived the explosion and wait for a year for the law to take his course uh, to do justice, the law to do justice to right to his family. But he waits that long and they have done anything. They have even attempted to do anything. So he decides to take mass in his own hands by destroying, taking away everything he loved, which is money. And, you know, making the bad guy kill his own, kill his best friend and his wife. At the end, he kills him. And he can. He tells him his entire reveals him that the punchers reveals his entire plan, <laughs> and as he blows up the car and the whole logo Punisher, and there's also the side arc of Punisher, of uh, he moves in with these people. He becomes quiet, and uh, this girl wants to have him on uh, on a date. He says yes, but he doesn't realize to stay until. You know, it's too late. He then he kind of leaves the date and does goes back to drinking his um, depression away, which is kind of depressing. Um, so he uh goes out killing and hunting the bad guys and torturing the bad guys the bad guy was as a kid and after that bad guy, he tortured the bad guy with a particle and he says that he's praying and flashing his crew he'll, he'll feel cold but that's because he's in shock and numb to the you know, in shock in shock because he'll feel cold and as he's Roasting hamburgers. <laughs> I pretend he did. He's tortured. I saw him. He's like roasting hamburgers and to give that sizzly sound and uh, and, uh, uh, uh melting popsicle on his back. And he says, Hey, King Fellow, buddy, I'm pouring up your flesh. <laughs> and then when he gets in, he puts the pasta on his mouth and he says, Holy shit, that was a lie. <laughs> and he didn't realize, he realized, he says, You are not a nice man. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Um, so, he helps out the puncher get revenge. So the puncher doesn't kill that guy that helps him out. Anyway, um, he leaves a, a giant load of money for uh, his friends that didn't gave him up, even though they were torturing one of them seriously by plucking each one of his facial rings. And Becca figures he must not know anything, otherwise he would have talked. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> I'm trying to go. <laughs> So, um, 
So, the Punisher hasn't got the name to the Punisher till at the very end he get he adopts the name the Punisher as he introduces himself to the as he's ready to introduce as it ends as him ready to introduce himself to the world and finally has a new name for himself and a new calling and he calls himself the Punisher and. That is the movie. And I personally really love this film a lot. Did I give it a thumbs up? And... That's it.